So here we are, I'm having a day out with me mum. We've got my son is sitting over there, he's busy cleaning up the headstone. YouTube? YouTube. Grandson. And meet and meet my mum, Sheila. But this is a uh, Unsafe because I'm leaning over. Eh? It'll be about getting filled up, this is it not? Yeah, we want to see uh, Beric as well, Tweed Mouth one. Crisp, crisp, was that a farmer? Crisp. Something's a bell, Chris. That's in the wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. Wakes? No. It's tidy. It's oh, it's tidy. Yeah. Oh, inside the right next to the. You're surprised they'll ever let them look cool like that, don't you? McFarlane. Edinburgh. He's a. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, 
you know, it must have been, must have been funny the first, you know, I've been the first person to get laid in here. Hmm? It must have been funny, oh. being the first person to get laid. And yeah, it's... This way, John. Eh? This one? Toby Henderson. He lived at uh, Tuggle. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. He was a good gardener. Yes. And there was um, a seat for Adam from the shop. And here's Brave Sophia. So there must be like the plot that's left really up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But you know never I wish I'd had your dad cremated. It's easier. Because who looks after the graves now? Well it's nobody that looks after them. No. No, it happens everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And that's you see Betty, I mean she's an army. You might see a wreath of Christmas on his birthday. You know? Very good. Hmm? So guys, this is this was my dad. I bless yeah. him. He was only what? Seven sixty nine? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Went through a long long illness. He did, bless him. Worked all his life on the farm. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Now we'll go, see. Somebody left school, worked on the farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you look around, there's a lot of the Headstones are starting to lean, really. Explain that again a bit louder. My dad was in, ho uh, was in hospital having his operation and the baby was in. She had the baby in there. Right, that's been released, yeah. Yeah. That one didn't. I've got one of those little doggies. That's new. Is that Phil Taylor's? That's John, that would be the son, 64. Because uh -huh. it was Phil, wasn't it? Phil and Jesse. Wasn't Phil it? and Jesse had the pub. Yes. And that's the son, he lived at Crosstown, didn't he? John. He died, wasn't he? That's my ex landlord mm -hmm. the top Phil Marshall Taylor. Mm -hmm. Nice, very nice gentleman. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. couple had the pub. And they had the Grey's Inn at Embleton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two year old. Oh. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Two hours, yeah.
there's one that's been in the, uh, the Welsh Fusiliers. Oh, right, hi. What, John? Yeah. Jim McDonald. Jim mm -hmm. McDonald. Yes, yes, oh, look at that at the bottom of that gravestone. A big one. Tweed mouth. Oh, what's this? In memory of those who died from exposure in an open boat whilst on passage from the defenceless Norwegian steam, steamer. Ten miles east of Aberdeen, the boat reached Saddle Rocks, Dunson Bar. 22nd of March 1917, after having been at sea for days. Severe health, I don't know. Oh, it's a shame that's a bit worn out at the bottom. Yeah? Well, I'm just going to. So there's a Wilson. Tweed mouth. I don't know what that's for, unless that's been the maker. That must have been the mason, would it? Mm -hmm. Just a lovely bit of history. Mm -hmm. It's quite it's, it's quite sad you see some of the headstones the way they're lying around. You know the there'll be a lot of people, you know, the family's all gone now. Oh, this gentleman was from Newcastle. He was killed in action. He could have been, there could have been another, like Polish or something. Mm -hmm. This is to be the owners of Falladen Hall. Where my parents worked on the farm and in the house, and it was passed down to Peter Bridgman. And I worked for Peter. My mum worked for Peter Bridgman, and then it was passed down, it's now passed down to Mark Bridgman.
So, we have my mum, my grandson, and my son, Stuart, John, and Sheila. My great grandson. And that's my mum's great grandson. And that is my dad. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll show you from this is before and we'll go on to the finished article. I'm really proud. Yes, well done really Stuart Taylor. Well done. And me. <laughs> yeah, well done. John. <laughs> oh, so to John, it would have been nice if you did the J for John. And then, I, then he went about the F and he went, oh what F for Fowler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely moment for the chip shot. No, Stuart, what you should have said was, John, you do the F, if we just go back the car. <laughs> 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 friends bit of a different video for you the day I'm gonna show you a bit of uh, where I used to live so when my mum and dad got married they moved into this little cottage and uh, my sister was born in this little cottage then when I come on the books into the scene, my mum and dad moved over to this little house there, the big house there. Not a long time ago. So I'll turn you around. So the cottage now. My mum has moved back into it. Yeah. My sister lived in the middle house and she moved. Fortunately, she passed away. Uh, my niece lived in this end. Yeah, my mum, we used to all, we all moved. to the top bungalow and that's where I lived the most of the time until I moved out sorry about the wind well this is known as Brunton Farm yeah. that's uh, a radar system just over here it's all changed as you can see by the photos you'll see in there There is an airfield over there, it's privately owned. Nothing, well, there's a yard plane does land sometimes, but nothing. Yeah, there's an old dryer. It's getting remodelled, it's going to be a four bedroom house. They're not going to use this bit because it's unsafe. But I can remember there used to be an old shed here. And uh, it's been demolished. And Yeah, surprised at what they do now. Eh? 